Thank you for joining me today. My name is Chris. I am one of the Sunlink project managers here at Sunlink Select. Today, I am going to go over the inventory in Sunlink. In this area, we have the suppliers, retail categories, and the inventory maintenance. To make any adjustments for this, we will need access to the back office of Sunlink. We will also need access and privileges to everything within the inventory menu. The first thing I'd like to go over is your suppliers. The two suppliers that are currently in Sunlink by default are Global Sunlight and TW10. Now the Global Sunlight, that is a JK supplier. The TW10 is a Sun Tan supplier. If you wish to insert a new supplier, you click on the insert button. If you would like to adjust or modify the current supplier, you, click, you want to click on the edit button so that way you can actually adjust the supplier information. Contact, address, maybe they moved, or perhaps the city and state that they belong. The next thing is the retail categories. The retail categories can be specific or they can be generalized. They can be specific as designer skin, like I have listed here, or they can be as general as just tanning lotions. Now I'm going to go over everything within the retail category screen. Inactive category. This option is used for in, to inactivate a category. Maybe it's a seasonal category. Maybe it's a category you're not using at the time. You can inactivate it. Discounts. The maximum discount for products within this category is blank. By default, it's blank. I would recommend putting 100 in this box because you want to allow 100% on any item within this category because remember each employee has their own discount options listed underneath their employee profile the default discount for any item within this category I'm gonna leave this at zero percent this is to apply a discount when you sell an item within this category so if you sell a tanning lotion it'll automatically apply the discount that you describe here then if you want to have a special, you can change the override percentage. So from zero, you can make this maybe a 10% between certain dates. So that way, between this date to this date, you get an extra 10% off. I'm going to remove this for now. I can set zero. Then I'm going to click Save. Now I'm going to go in and enter in a few more categories. Insert. 100% zero save so we have three categories in our system that's good to start so I'm going to click close inventory inventory maintenance now we're going to be adding some products into our system the first product I'm going to add is the ultra advanced dark bronzing by devoted creation so to do this click on the insert product and enter in the product name. The category, I'm going to select. This is a devoted creation. I want to apply the tax, and I'm going to apply the tax. It's a, it is taxable. The product code is an internal code used um, by you, the salon owner, to keep track of this product. So I'm going to label this Ultra 101. The UPC code. This is where you want to scan the UPC code on that product. And as long as the cursor is in this window, as soon as you scan that barcode, that will put the barcode or UPC code in this box. So whenever you're at point of sale and you want to sell this item by scanning it, you can simply scan the barcode and it will pull up the item for you. Supplier, wh where did you get this from? I'm going to get select four seasons. Item for sale. We got discontinued, not for sale. If you have something that's no longer made, but you want it, you have to get rid of it, you want to make it as discontinued. Then if you have something that's not for sale anymore, you want to mark it as not for sale. This is going to be for sale, so I'm going to 
leave it as for sale. Promotions will be allowed for this in case I want to set up a buy one get one promotion. This item can be paid for in points as I'm going to allow customers to earn points with every purchase. The sales description at, at point of sale. Does this have a um, nice uh, fragrance to it? Um, you know, why should the employee sell this to the customer? That's what you want to enter in there. Once you're done entering in the actual product name and the, and the description, you want to save the record. Then it's going to open up the regular price. Now these prices are not going to match any list, so please do not focus on the pricing for this. But the pricing I'm going to create is $50 for this bottle of lotion. Okay. The sales price, if you're going to have a sale of $45, you can put the, the sale start date and the sale end date. That way, between these dates, it'll be on sale for $45. Then after that date, it goes back to $50. You get rid of that for now. Close out price. Again, if it was something that was discontinued and you're no longer selling it, but you... You want to make it a closeout price, that way it never changes, it's a closeout price. You want to enable the closeout price and have it in listed there. So if it's $25, enable it there. This will make this item $25 from 50 So pretty much 50% off. If you're giving commission on this item, you want to click on the commissions tab. You can either do a flat rate or a percentage. Now I'm going to do 5% commission and then I'm also going to do two points earned for this transaction. You can also do a percentage as well if you wish. Then I'm also going to say that this expires in 365 days. The discounts, this is if you want to put an override discount or a default discount on this, which I do not, so I'm going to skip this step. Sales tax. This sales tax is if you want to overwrite the current sales tax in your salon. So I'm not going to recommend you changing this value as your sales tax should already be set up. If it is not set up, you will be setting it up in the future by going over the parameters training video. Once you're done with the default price, you click save. The regular price for inventory item Ultra Advanced Dark Bronzing has been updated at $50 for default price. Okay. Now, if you have more than one salon and the other and your other salon is gonna be charging more for this product, you want to insert another price in here because you're gonna select it for your other store. If this is a new startup salon, this is all that is required for you by entering in the inventory as you will be able to use the starting inventory balance utility wizard found in the selling installation folder to add in your quantities for those items later on before you go live. Now we are going to be setting this available to your store. Now again this is to be done now again, if this is a first time startup, you do not have to proceed with the following information. As the starting inventory balance utility wizard will be able to process all the information you want in one click. So, to make this available at your store, as you see here, your default store inventory, you don't have anything listed. So, you gotta make it available at your store by clicking on the available at stores. You don't have a location or a product name here or a quantity on hand. So you want to insert a store. You're going to insert the corporate location. You're going to add selected stores and you're going to remove unselected stores. So do you want to add ultra advanced dark bronzing to mark stores? Yes. Completed adding product ultra advanced dark bronzing to selected stores. Okay. Now you notice here that the quantity on hand is zero. Okay. Now that you have your um, store inventory, you want to click on your store inventory tab. 
Your store inventory tab displays additional information. Perhaps the same information listed in the previous screen, but now we have a lot more options. In order to actually add quantity, as you see on the right hand side, the quantity on hand is zero, the average cost is zero, the total value is zero, reorder point zero, reorder quantity is zero. Well, what, before you can add or remove items from your inventory, you got to create a transaction because adding products and removing products is considered a transaction. So click on the transactions tab. Now that you're in the tra transactions for ultra advanced dark bronzing, you want to click on the insert transaction. Underneath the transaction type, you want to select the starting balance. Once you select the starting balance, don't forget to select your reason. Inventory. Now, I'm going to recommend you actually add additional reason codes in your system. Again, we will be going over how to actually add more reasons in the parameters training. So please follow along in the parameters training video. Okay, everything else can, you can leave blank because you didn't create a purchase order for this, you're just adding it to your system. So we're going to move right along to the right hand side, quantity. This is the quantity that you have online. I'm going to say I have 10 of these at $25.50 a piece for a total cost of $255. I, I then I'm going to click save. Then you see here your information listed is you have 10 of these on hand. Total or the unit cost is $25.50. The unit cost is what you paid per item, not what the customer pays per item. And then the total quantity or the after is 10. So if you go over to the inventory items, you have the reorder point of zero and reorder quantity of zero. Well, you have a quantity on hand of 10. So if you click edit, let's go ahead and put in a reorder quantity. I'm going to put in your 10. If you started with 10, I'm going to end with 10. So that means when I get down to um, the point where I have to order more, I'm going to be ordering 10 of these items. Now the reorder point. At what point should I reorder this ultra advanced dark bronzing? I'm going to say 5. Once I get down to the last five, I'm going to make another order to order ten more of these. I then going to click save. I now have the Ultra Advanced Dark Bronzing listed in my salon that I, I can currently sell.